Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm bringing you my update for the Drop 10 Before Summer Project Pan. This is actually my first update. I missed the last month's update, which should have been my first month's update. I missed that one, so this is my first and only update until the finale next month when this project ends on the 21st of June. So let me go ahead and show you what I have for my products, what I have uh, finished, and where I am on the majority of them. All right, the first thing I had was the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. This is a mini, and I try to use this every time I'm either not wearing makeup or I use it as a toner or finishing spray. However, I can incorporate it in my skincare. And I started at the top line here. And I am now down here, which I think is really good progress considering, you know, it's one fluid ounce, but, you know, and that's that's two months worth of progress. So I don't think I'll finish it up for the finale, but I'll have it pretty close that I can finish it up shortly thereafter. And, um, yeah, that's okay for me. That's no problem. I'll, it's not like I won't ever use this again, so having an extra small one doesn't really matter. All right, the next thing I had was my Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. This stuff smells amazing. I highly recommend this to anybody who has a Trader Joe's near them. It's $5.99, I think, and it is 8 ounces. So it's a full-size body butter, and its consistency, it's kind of like whipped, thick. I don't know if you can, if you can tell, but its consistency is, it's like, yeah, it's like this spongy kind of feeling but it's a great body butter it absorbs into your skin so quickly and it smells fantastic so my goal on this was to use half of it or even possibly finish it as you can tell that has not happened yet um, you can see where I have been using it here and here I have marks down here where I've been digging into the lotion but um, to finish half of it before next month, I think I can do as long as I concentrate on this and use it every single day. I think I can do half of this um, in time for the finale. So we'll see how this one goes. But this is a contender. It's, it's a possibility that I'll finish it in the end or get halfway done in the end. The next item I had was my Malin and Goats Mojito Lip Balm. This guy, I have not been using as faithfully as I should have. And it was, let me, let me explain. It looks like this first off. <laughs> let's, let's just go into detail here. Okay. And I started right where this line is and that's about where I am now because I started using this and not seeing progress. So I honestly stopped using it for a while because I just thought I wasn't going to get anywhere in it. And I'm sure that not using it for a week or two really put a damper on how much it, it got you know, how much was left in the tube. So making no progress on it, I really need to pick it up. And I know I'm not going to finish this before the end of the project, but it's something I do want to work on because I had this for a while. And although I really like it, I do need to work it out of my collection because it's getting old. Let's see. The next item I had was my ColourPop Lippy Stick in Baywatch. That is actually going pretty well. I'm using this as often as I can. It's more of a cool toned color so I use it with cool tone looks mostly but it looks like let me roll it all the way up it's this it's such a pretty color and it's perfect for any um any cool tone looks it would have gone perfectly with my eyeshadow today actually had I not have worn uh, another product that's in this project but let me show you the measurements on this guy because although I've used him a lot he hasn't moved either so we started here. This is the bottom where I'm measuring from, and this is the top of the lippy stick. And I'm honestly just below that line, so it wasn't worth making another line just to show where I was on that. It, it wouldn't have shown up well. It would have just looked like one big solid line, so there's no point in doing that. But I am still working on this, and I, I think my goal was to, let me double check, my goal was to have a fourth of it done. That's not going to happen, but I'm still going to use it, and I love it. And it's one of my newer lippy sticks, so I'm not really worried about it being old or in my collection too long just yet. So, you know, I can continue to use this no problem. The next item I had was my Elf Fiji Bronzer. That now looks like, oh, if I can cover it up, That looks like this. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, you probably can't really at all. It has had some usage on it, but it's not 
it you can't tell that there's a dip there basically uh it you can if you look closely you can see there's wear on it most definitely and before it hadn't been touched at all it's, it was brand new but um yeah i've been using this every time i wear makeup i've been bronzing which is really unusual for me but yeah, I really like it. I think I'm going to just keep using it. And if I make a dent by the time the 21st rolls around, 21st of June rolls around, then I do. And if I don't, I'll, it's just something I'll keep in my collection. Again, I really enjoy it. All right. The next thing I have is actually a finished product. It was the e.l.f. Foundation, in, Flawless Finish Foundation in Sand. This... Let's see, it looks like it comes in a pump and it looks like this. And I don't know if you can tell, I tried to scrape out along the sides there and over here. I tried to scrape out as much as I could. I also tipped it over and tried to get as much of it to flow out as I could into a different container. So that has been decanted into this. And ever since being decanted, it's finished. It's all gone. So. That foundation is completely gone out of my collection, and although I love it and do have a backup, I'm really happy to have one down, and especially an empty for this project, because apparently I'm not doing so well in this, if you can tell. <laughs> the next item I have is my uh, Posh Walk on the Beach Foot Scrub. This will be done by the finale. That There's no problem with that. I use it every time I exfoliate my feet or am in the shower and you know remember to use it. But, sorry, it's really oily. It's kind of disgusting to show. But um, this is all I have left is this little bit right here. I think in the beginning I had about a half or a third of it left. And now it's, it's almost completely gone. So this foot scrub will be out of there, no problem. Um, like I said, this is another Posh product. So it's expensive, but it's good. I want to get my use out of it and really, you know, know that I know that I paid my money's worth on it. Okay, the next item I had was the NARS Orgasm Blush. Sorry, I'm really sticky from that foot scrub now. <laughs> the NARS Orgasm Blush, my goal was just to make a dent. And I don't think you can really tell that I made a dent, but you can tell I've been using it because I had never touched it before this project. I had never even swatched it. Let's see if you can see here without blinding you. There we go. You can see I've used it, especially up in this corner here. But um, yeah, there's no dent. There's no magic showing a pan or anything, which I didn't expect there would be. But, you know, just something I'll keep working on until the end of the project. And hopefully by then we'll see a dent in it. That would be really nice. Okay, uh, let's see. The second to last product I had was the Stila Lip Glaze in Orchard. And I'm proud to say it's what I'm wearing now over a, um, a different matte lipstick. I put this, because this has a metallic sheen to it, I put this on top and I love the look. But this is how far I've gotten in that. I started at this line here and now I'm right there. So again, you know, this is, this is a lot of product. It won't be used up before the end of the project, but I'm really not sad about that because I really love it for summer. So... Oh, well, <laughs> um, yeah, it's not something I'm worried about finishing. So we'll see how it goes and I'll keep using it like crazy because I really love it, but it's going to be perfect for summer. So I can't complain if I still have it. All right. And the very last item I have is the Mary Luminizer. My goal is just to make a dent in this and you can see where I've been using it. I wouldn't call it a dent, but you can see where I've been using it. And I'm really proud to say you can actually see a little bit of progress on it. You can tell it looks a little beat up there because I have been using it all the time. Almost every time I highlight my face. I do have a couple highlighters in other projects I've been using as well. But I love Mary Luminizer. When I first got her, I thought the hype was... I got her because the hype was great and I thought, well, I want that highlighter. I need that blinding highlighter look because I love it. However, when I got this and used it a few times, I really wasn't that impressed. And I don't know if I just was using it wrong. I mean, how do you use it wrong? I don't know, but I don't know if I, I if I just didn't like 
what it gave if I didn't build it up enough. I don't know what it was, but I love this now. So using this is not going to be difficult. And I think I may have a small dent in it by the time that the end of this project rolls around. So I'll be looking forward to that with this. All in all, that's everything for my Drop 10 Before Summer project pan. And I will see you guys at the finale. And uh, yeah, that's it. Leave a comment below. Let me know um, how you guys are doing in this project, if you're doing this project. And I will talk to you in the next one. I hope you have a good night. Bye.